guys, today we are going to be making a basic laptop sleeve. This project is perfect for beginners as well as anyone who is interested in customizing their laptop. We're just going to jump right into it with a slip knot. To make a slip knot, you simply want to wrap your yarn around two fingers to create a loop. Once you create that loop, you want to pull your yarn that is connected to the yarn ball through that loop to create yet another loop. I know, it's crazy. And that is your slip knot. You just want to pull the yarn just to adjust it and make sure that it fits your hook and you are all set to begin. I just want to emphasize that this project is personalized. So, for your foundation chain, you will be chaining the length of your device. For me, that number is 28. By personalized, I simply mean that your foundation chain may be larger or smaller than mine. But seriously, just don't worry and follow along and do the same exact thing, except not the same exact thing that I'm doing. <laughs> In other words, your foundation chain may be different, but just follow along with the rest of the pattern as I am and you should be able to make a cute little laptop sleeve. As you can see, to chain, I'm simply wrapping my yarn around my hook and pulling through. Keep in mind that the loop on the hook does not count as a chain. As demonstrated, my foundation chain is exactly the length of my device. Next, you just want to chain one, so you're going to add an extra chain. So this is bringing me from 28 to 29. Afterwards, you are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and every chain across. So you're going to find that second chain and you're going to insert your hook into that chain, just like that. Next, you're going to pull through a loop so that you have two loops on your hook. Next, you want to yarn over once again, and then you want to pull through both loops on your hook, and that completes your first single crochet. You are going to do this until you reach the end of the round. Now I say round because we will ultimately be creating a round, but what you want to do is just single crochet until you reach your first foundation chain, and then I'll show you guys what to do until then. So if you got confused when I said round, don't worry, we'll have you back in no time. <laughs>
So as I mentioned prior, you are basically only completing half of your round. And what you want to do next is single crochet into all of the bottom loops of your foundation chain and make sure that you have the same amount of single crochet on the top as you do on the bottom. Now this is what creates the round, so be very careful. What I'm doing is I'm simply locating the loops, the bottom loops, on my foundation chain. So that's exactly what I'm pulling up right there. That's one, that's two, that's three, and so on and so forth. So what you're basically going to do is single crochet into these bottom loops. Now I recommend taking your time if you've never done this before because it can get a bit confusing, but still the same process is necessary. You are still doing single crochet and once again you just want to make sure that you have the exact same amount of single crochet on the bottom as you do on the top. For example, I had 28 single crochets on the top, so I should have 28 single crochets on the bottom. So as you may have noticed, a round has been created. So to continue on, you are just going to single crochet around and around until you have a sleeve that fits the size of your device. And I know that sounds very crazy and informal, but it's just that simple. So you're just going to find that first single crochet that you made, and you're going to single crochet into that single crochet. Afterwards, you're just going to continue to single crochet around and around and around <laughs> and you're just going to keep going until you have a sleeve. Just don't stop. Just keep going. Just keep single crochet. And quite frankly, I find that it's not necessary to count rounds in this project simply because it's just not. <laughs> I don't want to overcomplicate things, but if you are a person who would like to know the specific amount of rounds needed, 
feel free to grab a stitch marker. Um, but if you're lazy like me and don't really feel the need to do it, <laughs> then you don't need to. Just continue to go around and around. Now guys, I just want to emphasize, if you're confused, don't be afraid to pause the video, rewind, restart, do whatever, grab a friend, search the internet. I don't care. Just trust me, this project is easy. Don't give up on yourself. You guys can do it because you guys are awesome. So just remember, just keep going around and around. As you may have noticed by now, you have this big sleeve, basically. And what I like to do is just occasionally stop, look at my work, <laughs> make sure that it fits my device. But first, I know that this fits my device. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is actually just take a moment, adjust my sleeve. Mm -hmm. That's right, I'm just taking a look at it. And then what I'm actually going to do is turn my work inside out. So the right side is on the inside and the wrong side is on the outside. <laughs> and I don't know why this is, quite frankly, this is optional, but I just like the way that the inside looks better than the way that the outside looks. I don't know why, I feel like it looks cleaner, whatever. Now, keep in mind that I have not done anything. I have not fastened off. I'm just checking my work and as you can see I also put my device in my work because you always want to make sure that what you're making actually is true to size. It's pretty snug so that is good. What I will give precaution to <laughs> is essentially that the first time you make this it may not be the right size. It may be too loose or too big but don't be afraid to start over because 
your life will be awesome. <laughs> next we're going to work on the edges. We're simply going to first slip stitch into the next stitch over. So I'm just finding that next stitch and I'm slip stitching. So I'm pulling through and then pulling through the loop on my hook. Next I'm just going to chain one. Just like that, we all know how to do that. And then we are going to work the crab stitch all around. Now, just a little secret, the crab stitch is worked in the opposite direction. And if you're confused, don't worry, I will explain. It's essentially a reverse single crochet. That's basically the best way that I can explain it. What you want to do is you want to find that second stitch from the hook on the opposite side and you want to put your hook into that stitch. Next what you're going to do is you're going to pull through a loop so that you have two loops on your hook. Afterwards you want to yarn over just like you would in a single crochet and you're going to pull through both loops on your hook. Now this may be uncomfortable for some at first but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy and super simple. So you're going to go into that next stitch and you're going to do the exact same thing. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling through so that I have two loops on my hook. Yarning over and pulling through both loops on my hook. And you just want to continue to do that around until you reach your first crab stitch. So as you may be able to tell, I have reached my first crab stitch.
And so afterwards, what I'm going to do is slip stitch somewhere in between your last crab stitch and your first crab stitch, just like that. Make sure that it's clean and tight, and then you just want to yarn over, chain one, and we're just going to pull through and fasten. So I'm pulling through a big loop, just like that. I'm cutting it, and I'm pulling it through, and then I'm simply fastening it and making sure that it's pretty tight and secure. And after all of that, you are done, yay! So you can actually go on to customize it or do whatever you want. I added a few old earrings, actually. So what I did was I just, I don't even know what I did, I just found a way to attach them on. But you can add pins, you can add stickers if that works. <laughs> you can add anything you want, just make it your own. Thank you so much for watching and follow me on Instagram. See you in my next video.